Hi guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix uh, can't establish a reliable connection to the server or Google Play Store error on Android devices. So guys, this error occurs when you try to sign into your Google account or your Google Play Store account. Okay. So guys, I'm going to show you a couple of methods and you can try that out and let's see if this, you know, fixes your issue or not. Okay. So guys, method one we have is you have to ch check your date and time and if it's not correct, then you have to correct it. So in order to check it, you have to go to the settings of your phone and find here date and time. So here I have date and time. Just tap on it. And here you need to check it that your, you know, date and time is correct. Okay. If it's not correct, then you have to correct it. Okay. So as you can see that I have, you know, used, uh, you know, automatic date and time checked and also automatic time zone. So let me just uh, disable it in order to show you how you can set date and time from okay. So just tap over here in order to set date very easily. You can do that and also set time. Right. Okay. And guys also you can select time zone from here. You can select the you know, time zone of you know your country of your you know area from here very easily okay okay guys so you know just you know try this method one and let's see if this you know fixes uh, your issue or not okay okay guys so you tried you know this method one and it doesn't fix your issue then you have to try this method two and this method too is only for rooted phones so guys you need one you know file explorer or file manager so uh, we will be using one uh, file manager called ES file explorer okay so you have to get it so first of all you need to you know check the unknown sources so just open the settings of your phone and uh, find here security here I have security just tap on it and here you have this unknown sources that is allow installation of apps from unknown sources so I already enabled it so just tap on it let me disable it in order to show you how to enable it okay so just tap on it as you can see and then tap on it and it's now enabled okay guys and after that you need to open your browser and go to apkmail.com and do a search for es5 explorer and you have to download it and install it so let me show you how you can you know do that just open your browser i'm using google chrome you can use any other and guys so you just need to go to this you know apkmail.com and just you know tap on this search this icon over here and type here es5 explorer okay so let me type that es file explorer so it's now opening so here i can see various version just install the you know the latest version by tapping over here So this opens the you know, download page and you can download from here very easily. Okay guys. So okay guys, so I already you know installed this you know file ES file explorer on my uh, device. So let me go that and open it. Here I am. So it's open. Okay guys so after that you need to you know tap on this stack icon over here in order to bring up the menu and after that you need to you know tap on this you know tools and just you know scroll down and you have to enable the root explorer by tapping over here okay and just you know close this and 
and if I go over here as you can see root explorer is you know, enabled okay guys so after that you need to you know go to uh, you know slash device slash tcp this you know this location so you need to go to the root of your device by tapping over here just tap on this you know local and then tap on this uh, it's now opening okay and here we have this you know slash device okay it's opening over here okay so here we have you know slash device just tap on it and just go to you know this you know etc folder over here tap on it and here we have the you know host file we need to check it so here we have you know the host file just tap on it and then tap on text and then tap on es note editor and guys here you need to delete everything and put this 127.0.0.1 space localhost okay so you need to type this so let me you know delete everything over here okay so just tap over here in order to edit this file and just you know tap anywhere and just delete everything okay and uh, you need to type this that is 127.0.0.1 space localhost and here you need to you know tap over here this arrow and do you want to save hosts yes just tap on yes Okay, remember my choice I have privacy guard who might not have okay guys so it's now saved okay. and after that uh, you need to you know restart your phone and just go to settings account add account Google and try to sign in. okay so let me show you how you can add your Google account as well just go to the, in the settings of your phone and uh, find here account so just tap on accounts and just tap on add account and then tap on okay or you can alternatively you can open you know the play store and you can add it that as well. very easy okay well, guys so just try this you know method two and let's see if this you know fixes your issue or not, okay Okay right, guys, so you tried this, you know, method 2 and it doesn't fix this your issue. Then you can try this, you know, method 3. In method 3, uh, you have to reboot your device into recovery mode and uh, wipe cache partition. And from advanced, you have to wipe the down with cache. Okay guys, so uh, ways to get into the recovery mode on Samsung, I'm gonna tell you. But if you have other phone, then you have to try to find from your manufacturer how to get into the recovery mode they will give you a tutorial for that okay all right guys so for samsung phones uh, you have to turn off your device and uh, now you have to press and hold the volume up power and home button until you see the samsung screen now release the power button but continue to press home and volume up until you are brought to the recovery mode okay guys and after that you need to press the volume down key several times to highlight wipe cache partition and press the power button to select and it will wipe cache partition okay guys so let me show you one image i have so here i have one image how you can wipe cache partition so here you can see this you know menu so you have to use you know volume up or down key to move highlight guys so just use the volume down key to highlight this you know 
wipe cache partition and just use the power button to select and it will delete your cache partition okay guys and after you're done wiping you know cache partition you have to wipe you know down the cache so here are the steps so you have to press the volume down key several times to highlight it once. and press the power button to select and then wipe down cache okay guys so here I have you know one image so let me make it big so here we have you know guys the image so here you need to uh, uh, use the volume down key several times to highlight this advanced and, and uh, just use the power button to select it and you will get this you know menu and here you need to highlight this you know wipe down with cache and just use the power button to select it and you will get this menu and just delete the you know down with cache okay guys so this is really very simple you can do that very easily and after that you need to reboot your phone and try to add you and let's see if this you know fixes your issue okay guys so you tried this method three and it doesn't fix your issue then uh, you can try this method four that is uh, you have to factory data reset factory reset your phone okay so in worst cases if uh, if above methods doesn't work for you then you can you know you have to reset your phone okay so how you can do that i'm going to show you just go to the settings of your phone and find here you know backup and reset so here i have backup and reset just tap on it and just tap on this factory data reset and here we have this you know reset form okay guys also make sure you take backup of your you know data and apps before using before doing factory data reset okay guys so just you know tap on this reset phone and it will reset your phone and just you know after you're know, done resetting you can just open uh, you know google play store and try to sign okay and let's see if this you know fixes your issue or not okay guys so you tried this you know method one two three four and it doesn't you know fixes your issue then you can try this method five then this is you know you have to reflash the draw okay guys so if you're using some custom rooms like Amazon mode or any other then uh, there might be problem with your draw as well okay so just try to reflash it and Let's see if this you know fixes your issue. Okay, guys. So uh, hope this tutorial helps. Uh, you can try all these methods and let me know in the comment section whether it fixes your issue or not. So thanks for watching this tutorial. Bye bye. Take care, and I will catch you in my other tutorials.